for the lights to come on. We've got three lights, four lights, five lights. Lights out and away we go for the Australian Grand Prix. Come on, hurry up. 62 miles an hour, 63. Come on, they're coming up right behind us. They're right behind us, come on. We're not yet. We've only just managed to get ahead. So we're on the grid, we've got one light, two lights, three lights, four and five. Lights out of the way we go for the second Grand Prix of the season. Coming up to the line, we win the 2016 Bahrain Grand Prix. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five lights in the way we go for the Chinese Grand Prix corner. We win. Chinese Grand Prix. So the lights are now on for the Russian Grand Prix. We've got a really good pole. Lights out and away we go for the Russian Grand Prix. Round the last corner to win the two, the fourth race of the season is the Russian Grand Prix. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five lights and away we go, the lights are now out. We are going to come third in the Spanish Grand Prix. So we got one, we got two, we got three, four, five lights and away we go for the creme de la creme of the F1 season. We come third for second for the Monaco Grand Prix. So we got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for this very damp Canadian Grand Prix. Push for the long lap 17 to try and fill the gap. But now on lap 18, we're coming up to the line to win the Canadian Grand Prix. So we've got one light, we've got that second light, we've got three, four, five. Five lights and away we go for the Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So we got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go. And we're going to come second in the Austrian Grand Prix. So we got two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for the British Grand Prix. And around the last corner, we're going to come second. It was it's actually fifth, I think it said. Yeah, we finished fifth, unfortunately. We got one, we got two, three, four, five. Five lights and away we go for the last corner. We're on P10, we've got points. Is Kavir going to say that? No, I don't think. Oh, we just crossed the line, just as he comes past. But now we've got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for the German Grand Prix. Wins the German Grand Prix, the home Grand Prix for his team. And we come only fourth. It's not last, it's not first. So we got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go. We're gonna finish just behind Bottas and just in front of our teammates. Right, we got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for the Italian Grand Prix as we win the Italian Grand Prix. Now on the grid, we've got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for this very rainy, very damp Singapore Grand Prix on the intermediates. But now on that 15, we're going to come home to win as we crash out this rainy Singapore Grand Prix. But then we've got two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Then we're out to the line, we're going to come home for a very disappointing sixth. Anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five lights. Lights out, and away we go for another rainy Grand Prix. Got our teammate right behind us, Nico Rosberg wins, but we're going to come home for a well deserved third place. So now we want to set on the grid your two, three, four, five lights. Lights out, and away we go for an actual try Grand Prix. 14 coming around the last corner, we're going to come home with our Red Bull in P3. So if you heard any noises there, but anyway, we've got three, four, five lights. Lights out, and away we go, and away. up to the line, we're going to come home for a fifth place. Anyway, we're on the grid for a very dry. We're going to start on the hards so we can go further distance. But anyway, five lights, lights sound. Away we go for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Corner there, that is a little cheap. We're going to come home for third place. Very decent point. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man. I feel just like a rock star. Beautiful Yas Marina circuit where qualifying is about to begin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. So coming around the last corner to go into our like into our last ever qualifying session of the season. We do set two laps this qualifying session, so it's not actually the last uh, lap I set in quali. But anyway, in the first sector, it's an 18.7 we've set so far. Now Gutierrez goes fastest 143, that's gonna get demolished straight away. But anyway, a minute and one second. Um at the end of the first uh, second sector. But now around the line it's Hamilton's a 141. We set a 142.8. 1.4 seconds slower than the Mercedes. And we and now coming around the last corner for our final ever lap in this qualifying session. We set a 141 and it still doesn't improve our position. That is just because the Mercedes is just such a beast. Like, we lose all our time in the middle sector, the two long straights. But anyway, end, end the qualifying. Lewis Hamilton's on pole, and Nico Rosberg, his teammate, rounds off the, the front row. Me and Daniel on the second row. He's just ahead of us, though, which is unfortunate. Then Raikkonen, Otas Vettel, Massa, Jensen, and then Nico Hulkenberg rounds off the top ten. Sorry about that. So there, uh, hopefully, we can get a really good result in our last ever but our last race of the season and hopefully we can win the world championship but let's go into the race Still a chance we can win this championship, so go out there and bring back the title. But anyway, on the grid, we got three, four, five lights. Lights out, and away we go for the last ever time this season. Getting very emotional. Ooh. But anyway, it's turn one. We go up, sorry, inside of our teammate, we're running into P3. Good start from us. We've got the two Mercedes fighting right ahead of us. Rosberg and Hamilton. Rosberg's out in the lead. And we're going to go around the right-hander, but anyway, we've got to this another cam, so it looks like there's going to be a double overtake, maybe into this left-hander, and then the right-hander of the chicane. We're up the inside, we've done we've done it, we've got both uh, Mercedes. Good start from us, anyway, around this left-hander, and we're going to keep our position. We are now leading the race, but now on lap three, we've got Kimi Raikkonen, who's actually past the Mercedes as well. He's actually going to have DRS and Slipstream on us. We've pulled to the inside. Here he goes. Goodbye. See you later. The slipstream is so OP. Does he have DRS? Yes, he does. I can like, confirm that. But anyway, good. under braking, we are so much better than him. And we're just going to send up the inside. We're already on 40% tyre wear, which is kind of bad. So that means we're going to have to pit very shortly. But that around the second straight and the second DRS. He's going to have DRS. Look at that. Just see you later, mate. See you later. And now we also got 
uh, Hamilton going up there outside. We're going around the inside, cut the curb. We've squeezed them out. It's still there though. But we managed to get position in the triple letter chicane. But at, speaking of which, at the end of uh, lap three, we are going to come in for our first pit stop. It is to go onto another set of ultra soft tyres. So it's going to be a very short stint because these tyres do not last a long time around. Just, they last hardly anything to on this game. Unless it's this game where it's over the track. But either way, they just last like five laps. Five laps max, I think. There's a 2.2 second pit stop from our team. And it is going to mean that we're going to come out in 21st place considering uh, Sebastian Vettel's already stopped as well. Uh, he's probably coming out behind us as well. Uh, so, But yeah, on lap 4 we're going to come out in 21st place which is unfortunate. But now lap 4, we've got Vettel. I'm going to dive up the inside and Sainz into the um, hotel section. So we managed to get past Sainz. But now at the end of lap 4, we're going up the inside of um, Naza. But now on lap 4... There's a couple of other people going into pits. We're P17 at the moment. But now we're coming around the first corner. We're now P15 just behind Julian Palmer. And uh, speaking of which, Julian Palmer on lap 5. We're going to straight up the inside of this left hand hairpin. Down this very long straight. One of the longest in the calendar. But we have so much more speed than Magnussen. But there is a yellow flag. But we're still going to send it up the inside. It's going red and green and yellow and yeah. And that's why Button... I think it's Sainz parked on the side of the road. I don't know why I said red at the start. <laughs> Green and yellow it was flashing that. But we still managed to get the overtake. We're in the P11 at the moment. And Harry Anto, Jesus. He's going so slowly in the braking zone. We are purple at the moment. So that's a good sign in my opinion. But now lap 9. We go purple. Uh, lap 6 I means we're going. We're in P9 at the moment as people are pitting. P7 mid at P5. There's more people have pitted. And we've actually got past Ericsson on track. So now into P5 um, on lap 6, but now lap 7, going on to lap 7 anyway, someone else's pits, I think it's Grosjean, Grosjean is now putting, coming to the pits, so now we're P4, uh, two more positions, that we've, like, we have lost kind of some positions to where we was originally, but now here comes Hamilton, look at that speed, now on his left hand, the triple chicane, we've kept, yeah we've kept the position, good, but now it doesn't mean we're going to have the pit, look at that tyre, we're 51% on lap 9, so, I uh, probably will be stopping this lap. But now, um, someone else has pit, I think. So, in P3. And now, ha I've gone really wide. And Hamilton's going to sweep up the inside. Into turn two. We're not going to have any more speed to go against him. Our teammate's behind us as well. We're going to go extremely wide over the curbs. A little bounce. Our teammate's up the inside. But we're going to keep the position. And now, we're really close to Hamilton. Are we going to throw up the inside into his left-handed chicane? The hairpin? I mean, no, we're not. But we might have some overspeed on him. Nah, we've had such a bad exit. That was horrible. But we are going to have like some slipstream. The slipstream on this game is overpowered. But, and speaking of which, look at that. Look how far back we are. We're going to try up the inside into this chicane. Left hand first. He's locked up. Really bad. That's going to be bad for his tie way. He's on the long loop. Like, he's going to be long going longer. He's on the hardest compound. But now we've, we're into P3 now. So we've gained our position back. But now here he comes. He's got DRS now. And he's going to try the inside. No, he's not. We're going to defend the inside. And we've kept P3. Oh, what some racing. But now um, virtual safety car has been deployed. As we go through like the hotel section. Um, I'm not really sure what that's for. I guess someone's out. But anyway, it doesn't mean we're going to get half a pit stop for free. On that minus, we're going to come in. As we get to go faster and pit exits like them, them on track. So, yeah, we're going to go on the su um, Super Sauce. Going to come off the Ultra Sauce. Let's have a look. So, hopefully, it's a good pit stop from the team. Is it? It's a two second dead, I think that says. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, we're green as I'm P8, and I'm on the exit of the, chica um, of the pit lane. So, we're not going to lose many positions on the exit. I don't think we're going to lose none. So, we're going to be coming out in P8 on lap 10. Uh, 19 laps to go. We're not going to be able to take these tyres to the end, I can tell you that now. But anyway, on lap 10, going on to lap 11, three people have stopped, I think that is. So we're going to be in P5, no, we're not P6, unfortunately. I miscalculated. But now on lap 12, we are going to be P5. Maybe P4 is someone else is coming under the tunnel. It's Perez, and yeah, we're on to P4. We've got Bottas ahead of us, who was on slower tyres. So hopefully we'll be able to get past him. But now Sainz has been passed. 
No, Bottas has actually pit. No, Science has pit. I don't know what's going on on lap 13. But now lap 13, speaking of Perez, here he comes. We're side by side. Down this very long straight. He's going to have DRS now. Look at that. DRS helps him so much there. Uh, we're going to keep in the slipstream, though, as it is very powerful in this game. And it's like, that's, like ruling out that um, DRS. But now we're up the inside into the left hander. We're going to squeeze him out. And now on the right hander, we've squeezed him out completely. So now he's going to go down to um, uh, the hotel section. We've got the safety car has been deployed. Safety car has been deployed. But anyway, we're going to come into the pit. But yeah, we're going to come into the pit for under the safety car. So we're not going to lose that many positions, I don't think. Um, we're not going to lose that much time because everyone's going very slowly. And we could also just... Right, yeah. We'll catch him up after. We're going to go on to a second set of um, superstars. This should... Might be able to get us to the end. Depending on my tyre wear and depending if I think anything else. But it's a 2.3 second pit stop. It's not fast as we've ever had, unfortunately. What's happened, team? It used to be like 1.8s, 1.9s. Oh. Disappointing. Oh, God. But we're going to come out in 10th. But now on lap 16, it's actually going to come in. Only three laps left, uh, later. But yeah, we've got Verline, who is a blue flag car. Ericsson is going into the pits now. We got past Verline and Ericsson very quickly. Quite good. Like, quite good at that. Like, that was quite good. But now Bottas is actually pit, so now we're into P8. Um, on lap 17, we're going to go up the inside of Sebastian Vettel. In his left handed hairpin. He is going to stick with us, though. I'm like. We are gonna, we squeezed him a little bit, we're squeezing him. But yeah, just look at that momentum. Like we just, we just, I don't know, we're just faster. I put it into Rich Mix though. But now he's he's looking up the inside. But now Alonso is going very slowly there. So we just send up the inside of Fernando. Leaving room, and he just barged us out. We left it, you let, we left your room, Fernando. Mate, what are you doing? But now that's actually um, allowed Sebastian Vettel to get alongside us. So now we've got three wide into this triple corner chicane and Sainz has been spun out by Perez or Raikkonen either one but now into P5 geez Sainz has not had a good race he's been halfway through like in like lap 5 he was taken out now on lap 17 he's been taken out he's been taken out twice this race unfortunate for Sainz in the final race of the season but now we're actually going to go up the Intercastle's um, hotel section we're actually going to go up the inside of uh, Perez and now lap 18 in this first chicane we're actually up the inside on the left-handed bit. It ran to P3 on lap 18 around uh, up the inside of Kvyat, uh, Raikkonen. But now Hamilton's actually pit on lap 19. So now me and Ricardo are one two. We're gonna have DRS on Ricardo. Are we gonna be able to get him a move into this little chicane? We're very close. We are gonna send it. We've cut the corner. He's still there though. But we sent it and we've made. We've got the decision. But now on lap 23, we're coming in. So we did actually make an uh, extra pit stop. But could this have thrown a way to win? So there's no way we're going to create that, that much time. It is the ultra soft, so it is the fastest. We do have some fuel saved. It's a 2.3 second pit stop. We've got five laps to try and catch Dan and Ricardo, our teammate, and Lewis Hamilton. I think I might have blown the like, just hand over the win. That is... Oh, unfortunate for me. But we're on P4. We've got Bottas again to get past. We might not even be getting a podium in this race. But speaking of which, is is Bottas. We've got her very fast. Up the inside into this left-handed hairpin. And we've gained a position. We're still there. Um, but yeah, we're going to have DRS and Rich Mix. So we're just going to pull away. He's in the slipstream though. And look at that. Slipstream. With the Mercedes power engine. But look, DRS is just faster with Rich Mix. That's just what kept us in the position. Um, but yeah, end of the race. Lewis Hamilton wins the um, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It's not good enough though, because we're going to come to the line and win the Drivers' Championship for the 2016 season. Ah, oh, what a season! We only come third in the race, but we've won the world's Drivers' Championship in the final race of the F1 season. Uh, magical scenes. As we're doing donuts. Oh, it, it feels good. End the season on a high by winning the World Drivers' Championship. It's happened. Abu Dhabi has happened many a time. But it's happened again. So, yeah. <coughs> Great. Lewis Hamilton 
lifts the winner's trophy. Champagne is spraying. Red Bull, both on the podiums. Don't know what happens to Nico Rosberg. But I don't care. We're world champions. World bloody champions. Do you know, this is what happens to me. There's com like, look. We come third, Dan Ricciardo second. Lewis Hamilton wins the Grand Prix. Kimi Rackers comes fourth, but look at that. Only five points in it. But it doesn't matter. Just five, five points. Well, He's five points he'll never get because we're five points ahead of him and um, that, that's what resulted us in winning the drivers championship unfortunately we couldn't get the uh, constructors championship which is unfortunate uh, no support really from your boy Daniel Ricciardo so which is a bit unfortunate but anyway Toro Rosso have actually gone ahead of Salba. Yeah, they've actually moved up to ninth with 12 points only, though. But yeah, there's confirmation. 107 points behind Mercedes. But anyway, I'll be CJ Gaming. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.